Throughout my time covering crime stories on YouTube, we've seen some pretty wild cases, some incidents not even a movie script could produce. And of the gang-related murders that I cover on a near enough weekly basis, when we think of families that are connected to these specific incidents, the word victim comes to mind, especially mothers. We have to remember that even the perpetrator's mother is the victim when murders take place, normally a faceless one. They rarely appear in the media, but just like the victim's mother, they too lose a child, and that isn't necessarily down to them. Either way, if your child is involved in a gang, this means that family members, doesn't matter who you are, could also be the target of an attack. So what about those instances then when family members who seemingly have no involvement with gangs themselves decide to take action to do exactly that? Well, this next story will show you what happens when a mother gets involved in an ongoing gang dispute with people who her son had issues with. On the 10th of February 2021, a group of teens connected to the Block 6 gang out of Catford had been looking for a rival out of the LDG gang based in Sydenham. Of the Block 6 group was a 17-year-old boy by the name of Levi Ernest Morrison, and for whatever reason, they'd been looking for LDG member 19-year-old Tyrese Uliasis. It isn't exactly clear from reports, but the Block 6 members on multiple occasions prior to the 10th had had gone to Tyrese's mother, Nicola Layton's home address in Sydenham, looking for him. By the time the 10th of April came around once again, the Block 6 members, including Levi, had knocked on the door armed with knives looking for Tyrese. But on all occasions, he hadn't been there. Why, you might be asking yourself, well, he had actually moved a dress. Again, it isn't exactly clear if Tyrese was aware of the times they'd been looking for him prior to the 10th, but this time he certainly did, because when the boys knocked the door this time, Nicola became what's been described as furious, so she got on the phone to Tyrese to tell him to come and deal with the issue. This was then followed by a phone call to the police, where Nicola told them if they was to come back again, she was going to quote, batter them. After receiving this phone call from his mother, however, Tyrese gathered two of his friends and marched straight to his mum's house. Within an hour, Tyrese arrived at his mother's address with his two friends who were under the age of 18, so at this current time they can't be named. They were all armed with knives, and they were ready to kill. Once arriving at the address, they all jumped into Nicola's Suzuki 4x4, ready to hunt down the group. Whilst in the car, some of the boys claimed that Nicola was annoyed and was shouting things such as, those boys think they can come to my house. The boys, including Nicola's son, said their intention in going to find these Block 6 members was just to scare them off, so they didn't go back to Nicola's house. But Nicola contested all these claims, saying she didn't even know what was going on and was asked to just drive to the scene. Once arriving at the scene on Sydenham Road, however, the group spotted Levi with a friend and some of the members in the car said that Nicola actually encouraged them to get out and chase after them, to which she denied ever doing. Within 30 seconds of the car arriving at the scene, Levi was stabbed left for dead and then the group ran back to the car where according to witnesses it screeched across the road before taking off the aftermath which i won't play in this video was captured on camera people can be heard calling for emergency services and also tending to levi Ultimately, though, he would go on to be pronounced dead a short while later. After a murder investigation was opened, Nicola Tyrese and three teens under the age of 18 were arrested and charged in relation to the murder. After a recent trial, all but one of the under 18s were found guilty on murder charges and possession of an offensive weapon. The jury had failed to reach a verdict on the youngest defendant. He, believe it or not, was just 14 at the time when the murder took place. So as you can see, family who might not necessarily be involved with ongoing gang disputes can get caught up in them. And this means for Nicola now, she's not only just been involved in a child losing their life, 
She's lost her own life, a big grown woman who's a mother, and her own son will more than likely be going away for a whole life sentence. No one has been sentenced as of yet, they will be getting sentenced at a later date, and you can expect all four to be given life sentences. For now though, give the video a like for more crime related content like this, and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It's been me, Ape Honcho, and I'll see you in the next one.